Hi my lovelies, welcome to my channel. I'm here again with another tutorial that I did for it. It's a complete glam makeup look using all drugstore products. So without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So I have already done my eyebrows and uh, primed my lid. I used a Rimmel concealer on my eyelid to set my eyelid for the base for the eyeshadow. So for this eye tutorial, I will be using my Makeup Revolution Sophie's palette. I think I did another tutorial using this palette before. So if you guys haven't checked it out, the link will be down below. So first of all, what I will do, I'm going to take this shade called, uh, sorry, give me a second guys, because it comes with a um, thing like a wrap or cling wrap thingy and it has all the name of the shades so it will be easier for me to let you guys know so I will be taking the shade called um, sorry let me do this one I will be taking this base shade called pancakes and I'm gonna put this on all over my it's going to be my transition shade So I already did um, Eid makeup look using high-end products. So this one will be the same, but with drugstore. It will be again with lots of glitters, color that we do. Like this look could be done for any kind of festival, Eid, Christmas, or any occasion that you celebrate. It doesn't have to be specific just for Eid. I will be taking the shade called Cloudberry and put it above my, or just, you know what, I'm going to put this on my crease. So after that, I'm going to take the shade next to Cloudberry called Pumpkin, this one right here, and put it again on top of the Cloudberry shade. And this time I'm going to drag it towards my inner corner. I'm going to drag it all the way to my inner corner. This time I'm going to put it on my outer V and drag it inwards. Guys, minus my eyebrows, I didn't get a chance to get it done. So you might be seeing some stray here, here and there. So now I'm going to go ahead with the sh shade called, um, mud no, you know what? I'm going to take this shade called Rosewood. It's a dark chocolatey brown and take a more, I'm going to use this brush. Take this and just place it at the bottom of my outer corner and drag it inwards. Like I don't have any set plan like what kind of look I would be going for. But I only know that I want to use glitter at the end. So I'm just whatever like I'm thinking in the moment with the colors that's what I'm going for. I think I'll take this shade called Festive Flame and put it on my lid with a flat brush. I will be using this one. It's like a flat synthetic shader brush. Another thing guys like if you have any like kind of look you want me to do tutorial on please you can write in the comment box below I would love to achieve that or do that look for you guys so I'm thinking of taking this uh, shade called copper coin as you know by the name it's a copper shade and place it 
in my inner corner of the eye. I'm going to use another flat brush. Like I'll take this chisel, small chisel brush, and use that shape. So now I'm going to go ahead with my shade that I used earlier, the, uh, the crease shade. Take a little bit more and put it again on top of my crease. And then I'm going to go with my transition shade and go on top and just blend it. So now I'm going to take a more precise pencil brush like that. It's like a little fluffy and go with that uh, transition shade again and drag it in my inner corner a bit. Since my outer V, the brown shade is kind of rubbed out a bit, so I'm going to go ahead again and take that shade and place it back again. Now, I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and start blending it all together so that there is no like harsh lines and it looks all together. Okay, so now after that I'm going to take this NYX glitter in shade gold and use a wet brush to put it on top of my eyelid so you can use any setting spray to with your brush i'm going to use my usual maybelline with my brush take the glitter This brush is not the best, so I'm going to go ahead with my Urban Decay flat brush and use that glitter to pack up. Okay, so now I'm thinking I'm going to go with this shade called Grow Old and pack this in my inner corner with a wet brush, the same one that I used for the glitter. So off camera, I did my eyeliner, lashes and mascara. So right now I'm gonna do my foundation. Oh, before I start my foundation, just wanted to let you guys know what I used in my bottom lash line. So I went ahead and used this chocolate brown and smudged it in the outer lash line and took it all the way in. And in my waterline, I used a black eyeliner and then I tried to like use this Milani gold eye pencil but for some reason it wasn't working. So anyways guys, I will be putting all the products info in the description box below for you all so for foundation I will be mixing two shades one is my cover girl vitalist elixir and then Maybelline superstay foundation so the reason I'm mixing both is I want full coverage and with the vitalist I will get like a dewy finish because Maybelline one is a matte it's like a full on matte foundation and for this look I don't want my foundation to be too matte I want some dewy look in my foundation oh I forgot that it's like a it's like this kind of content I was trying to pull it out anyhow so okay I'm gonna mix the two shades together I think I took too much And my for foundation, I will be using the Maybelline sponge.
Okay, I'm like trying to squeeze the concealer. It's not coming. And I just bought it. It's my second time using it. Are you serious? I know I heard Emily saying that uh, you didn't get a lot of... Emily Noel, she's another YouTuber, that she was saying that you don't get a lot of product. So now I can see she was right. Oh my god. It's like done. So the amount of price you're paying, you're basically is getting nothing. Oh! Can't use this. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna use a different concealer. I'm gonna use the Photo Focus Concealer, the Wet n Wild one. I'm not a big fan of this concealer because it does not give me enough coverage. So guys, don't waste your money in that concealer. The Rimmel 24, the lasting, finished 24, five hours breathable concealer. Don't waste your money. I think I paid like what, around six bucks for this concealer. You can get better ones. Like the LA Girl Pro concealers are, are better. I hope it's giving me some coverage and covered my dark circles. So I'm gonna just take my kabuki brush, my flat kabuki brush, and blend my foundation everywhere. So now, after the foundation is done, I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder, and I'm gonna use this brush. Put it under my eye to bake. While I'm letting it bake, I'm gonna go ahead with the concealer, I'm um, sorry, the mascara, and put it on my lower lash line. So for contour, I will be using Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Take that banana shade in the same palette and put it on my jawline. So for blush, I will be using my Makeup Revolution palette in Sugar and Spice. This palette has some nice shades of your blush and there's like two pink big shape too. So now I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm going to go ahead and take this shade. It's a light pink and use this as my brush. Yeah, today I went a little bit, I applied like a little bit more of blush, but if you think it's too much, you can just get to your sponge and take a little off. Just... Okay. So for my highlight, I will be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in shade Molten Gold. This is a dupe, in my opinion, for the Amrezi, the Anastasia's Amrezi palette. Sorry, the um, uh, Anastasia's Amrezi highlighter. I think this is a dupe for that. So, yeah. I'm going to use this. And this brush. Okay. 
top of your eyebrows. Then I'm going to take this brush. So now before I put my lipstick, I'm going to take the Maybelline setting spray and spray my face and let all the product set all together. I'm back again. So for my lipstick, I have two options. First, I will be going in with this pink shade. This is a pixie one. And then the next one I'll show you guys after. So I'm gonna lip line or outline my lips. The color that I'm using by Pixie is called Prettiest Pink. It's a matte looks, uh, liquid lipstick. Look at this beautiful pink shade. So this is my one lip color that you can do and then I'll show you another one. So yeah, another color that you can go for if you don't want to wear pink is a red shade for this glam um, look or glam makeup. It's a shade from Maybelline Matte Ink. You can uh, use any red color it doesn't have it's, it doesn't have to be the same one this is like one of my favorite matte lipstick from the drugstore like once it's sets it goes nowhere And I don't know if I told you guys or not, this is a matte, like it's a matte, it's like, it's a really matte lipstick. So yeah. And if you want it to be a little glossy, you can use any lip gloss. I was thinking of using this Wet n Wild lip gloss to give it a little bit of sheen to it. So yeah, that's it. So either pink or red decision is all yours so hope you guys like this makeup look that i created for eid or it could be for any occasion any festival um, either you can go with the pink or the red with lots of glitter and sparkle and have fun at the same time so that's it for now guys i hope you like this video and if you do please hit the like button or I would say as some of the youtubers sm say smash the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this love you all